Welcome back and prepare to be amazed and entertained, more so than you've already been yeah, watching honestly. for the past five hours. <laughs> we are getting a preview this morning of an upcoming comedy show that is debuting this week at the Rochester Fringe Festival. Yeah, for more on the show, Anthony Prezzuti, comedy mentalist, uh, we are joined by the star himself, Anthony Prezzuti. How do you like that? Thank I you so much it. for waking up and coming in. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having um, me. Thanks for, for having me. First and foremost, I, I we got to get into the nitty gritty real quick. Sure. Uh, mentalist. Yes. Define that for people <sighs> sitting at home. What is that? It's a mind reader. That's the basic definition of it. It's a mind reader. But what I do, you know, I'm not going to tell you that I'm truly reading your mind. Um, it's an act. It's an act. Okay. You can believe me. Or you cannot. It's up to you, you know? You might say, oh, okay, he's written. Okay, I believe him. He's not real. But then, wait, what? That's impossible. Yeah. How did he do yeah. that? So that's, that's, that's what I do. That's what a mentalist does. All right. Well, yeah. tell us about your Fringe Festival show. Sure. So the Fringe Festival show is this Thursday and Saturday. So Thursday is going to be at 6.30 p.m. Uh, Saturday will be at 8.30 p.m. They're going to be, uh, it's a family friendly show. Last year was an adult show, so it was like 18 plus. This year is going to be uh, suitable for the whole family to come, but I kind of say still like PG-13. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, it's, it's, it's advanced content. You got to kind of understand everything. So. That's all right. That's all right. It's more for people to enjoy. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so can you, can you show us anything? Yeah, you, you, wanna... you brought a clipboard. I did. Yeah. I, got, I got some stuff here. But Normally I want people to... don't just walk around I, with I know, this stuff. I know. So. I, I always have weird props on me. I think that's, that's okay. the worst part about I have an envelope. Abby, can you just hold yeah. that and just hold on to it? Okay. okay. Um, you keep that. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to run through a little scenario here. Um, this is the scenario. It's a murder mystery. Uh -oh. Ooh, who done it? <sighs> yes. But unfortunately, Dan, you get murdered. Oh, well, I, your dreams come true, babe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm devastated. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. So Dan gets murdered, okay? So okay. it's up to you guys to decide the details of this murder, okay? okay. So um, here's what we're going to start with. We're going to start with who did it. So can you please tell us who did it? It's up to you. It's, it's totally up to you, whatever like, you like. Like, do I just name somebody? Yeah. Who I, do you think did it? It's up to you. Chris Lopez. Chris Lopez. Yeah, our, our morning reporter, Chris Lopez. <sighs> you guys are always doing something fun. Okay, so Chris Lopez? Yes. Mm -hmm. And who is he again? He's our morning reporter. Okay. Was I supposed to name, like, some, like, like Oprah no. or something? You did totally well. I okay. mean, it's just, he's going to be sad to know that he's going to be going to jail after oh, this. That, yes. Well, I, you know I'll be saying? happy. Vindicated. Yeah, I guess. Right. You're dead. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, vindicated. Right, <laughs> exactly. Justice. Okay, so the next question is, why did Chris do this? Well, Dan was yelling at him about his spelling and grammar. <laughs> spelling and grammar. No, Come just, on, Dan. just periods. Guy just, guys never, guys never met he a period he liked. An N in American today. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, spelling and grammar. That is a good question. Do you guys mess up often, like your words or your grammar? Of course. Or, yeah. Do you're human. Yeah. yeah. You are human after all. Yeah. Um, okay, so spelling and grammar. Um, okay, the next question is, what was the murder weapon? Dan, you can tell us, what was the murder weapon? The murder weapon was uh, the candelabra. Candelabra? Uh-huh. I'm not going to lie, I don't think I've ever heard of that word in my life. Can you please tell me what a candelabra is? Oh, like, so it's, um, a, it's a big candlestick holder. It's like very Beauty elegant. Like the Beast? Like Beauty okay. and the Beast, yeah. Lumiere, yeah. he was a candelabra. Okay, so... That, that has to hurt. Yes. Um, solid gold, baby. Solid gold. Okay. A candelabra, very unique. Okay, Dan, tell us all. What were your last words? What are they? What are your last words? Keep it simple. My last words were, how could you? How could you? And that was To that. Chris Lopez. Mm-hmm. How could you? Is he watching right now? Um, yes, he is. Yeah, he is. Chris. He's yelling in the back. <laughs> why did you do it? Seriously, dude. Okay, so oh, how friends. could you? All right. This is unique. This is very unique. So, you guys came up with these yourselves. Yeah. Now, Dan, I'm sorry you got murdered. Yep. But it had to happen, Abby, man. Yep. Now, you've been holding onto this envelope the entire time. Now, just to say this, I hope, Dan, I hope this doesn't come true, because that would be very upsetting if Me too. it came true. Uh, can you just please read off? Read off what we wrote down. Yep. 
Before you do that, we've got about 45 seconds left. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Who did it? Why did they do it? The murder weapon is Dan's last words. Chris okay. Lopez, spelling and grammar, a candelabra, and how could you? Okay. In this envelope that you were holding the whole time, can you please open that up? <laughs> read it out quickly. Oh, my goodness. Very quickly. Okay, there was a murder at the studio today, and unfortunately, Dan did not make it out alive. Dan was a good news anchor, but oh well. I'm sure someone will fill his shoes. Here are my predictions for the details of the murder. Who did it? Chris Lopez. Why did they do it? Spelling and grammar, murder weapon is a candelabra, and Dan's last words. How did you do that? You <laughs> walked out here with this. We did not see you before the show. She was holding it the whole time. That is insane. Dan, it oh might be gosh. coming true, though. That's what I'm kind of concerned about. Oh Somebody get eyes on is Chris there, Lopez. Is there workman's comp <laughs> nope. on the other side? No. Nope. I don't know. Hope you have security. No, uh, Showtime and location. 6.30 on this Thursday night and then 8.30 on Saturday night. GCC Center Stage Theater. This is All crazy. of it's on foxrochester.com. We're back after this.